Now, morning everybody, how is everyone? It's a little bit nippy today, a lot colder than what it was a few days ago in, in February, but we're starting to ramp up. It's starting to happen, the season's coming on, and March now is a great time to be getting some seeds ready, planting some seeds, and getting yourself all kind of organized. So today I'm gonna to give you loads of like ideas what to plant in March, and there's gonna be the best competition, a new one, yes, starting today. So even before that competition, don't forget this competition, the modifications of the seed trays. Within a couple of days, I'm gonna be announcing the winner in the kind of emails. So there'll be three links down below. Hopefully, if all this works out, there's gonna be three links. One of them is for this seed tray competition. In a couple of days, I'm gonna be kind of announcing the winner so you've got a couple of days left to get these modifications look at that man get your little finger right in there and win them but we're talking about seeds today what to plant and kind of what what i'm going to be planting think possible things i'm going to be planting now so Although it's cold, cold, there is like a lot of veg we can start kind of sowing within the next week or so and no problem at all, you know, bring it into like a kind of a, a polytunnel or somewhere like that. It, they can withstand it. So I'm going to be planting, and I got this off the old boy there, green side up, his favourite spring onion is, and I got these last year, these are from DT Brown, Ishikua spring onions. So... Again, I'm going to be planting them and just to see what the kind of crop is compared to like say the white Lisbon that I normally kind of go for, something like that. I'm going, I'm going to go and try these, Ishi, I think that's how you pronounce it, Ishigua seeds. So another thing I'll be planting pretty soon as well is peas, but I'm going to go for pea shoots. So any variety, I'm just going to plant away which ones have I got in my little sea box rondo so i just want to kind of put them out and, and crop them four five six inches tall just the tops of them in see it like a, a, a kind of nice box basket you know them blue farmers baskets just a little bit of soil them in and then pick them so early do you know what I mean pick them and just put them in a salad so that's the next one so as well all your different brassicas, you're, you're kind of fine now with kind of sowing them. So I've got kale, <laughs> calabrese, I'm going to try that. I've got some kale, but I've got some purple kale that I wouldn't mind having to go this year as well. Get that up just for more decoration than anything. But all the kind of brassicas, you're fine now. Get them in, get them sown and, you know, you just... and. Sow them, then sow them again, just in case them crops failed. And I learned that from the old boy as well. Do you know what I mean? Don't just kind of do one batch of sowings. Do it, you know, a, few, a couple of weeks later, do another batch just on the on the off chance. And the off chances are very often that that crop will fail, get wiped out by butterflies or anything. You've got a little spare crop there as well. So a couple of few sowings. Now's the time just to be slowly prepping tomatoes and especially aubergines as well. They're kind of a nice long grown season, but you'll need, you'll certainly need heat with aubergines. Now for me, I quickly learned last year that my grafted aubergines, which I bought in, were way better than the seeds I grew. And don't get us wrong, I kind of mothered them, you know what I mean? They were fine. I put them in the ground, they even grew brilliantly, but the fruit, just didn't seem to come. Do you know what I mean? And maybe that was me. I'm just, you know what I mean? It's not, the kind of the flowered, but then the, the, the flowers just dropped off or the fruit went mouldy before it was established. Where every one of me grafted ones was unreal. To be honest, it was just fantastic. Now I know that company's out there now and I've, I put an order in as well. So I'm going for, for grafted ones, but if you want to get your, your aubergines in there now, get them in some heat, a nice little propagator, it's time for them. Last year I had such a great crop with the, the mustards and the salads, and it's, it's been one of them things where I think I'm, I'm falling in love with them, and I was never into that, you know what I mean? It was more a hassle, but again, picking them early and, and things like that, and just having that crop where you can kind of cut you know like just size them as the young leaves just makes all the difference as well but 
there's that many and they, they seem to like the cold as well so mustards different mustard seeds and lettuce seeds i'll be doing an abundance probably of that this year as well so hopefully i mean let us know in the comments which salad lettuce because that's the thing i'm kind of discovering which ones is one of your favorite ones let us know in the comments below now it's not too late these are my broad beans now i planted those aquadulce claudia in the 2nd of november and i used a pencil right on there so i planted them but it's still get them in there now it's still plenty of time get them in there now as you can see they went right through the winter they're great for that so if you quickly now get them in you'll hopefully get a nice good crop coming pretty soon so there's different folks for different like different seasons and people plant things at different times now i'm always a great believer of planting garlic you know the, the kind of year before but it's still now if you want plant garlic now depending where you are i mean as you can see there i've got a few different varieties buckets i've got them over there as well and i've even got the elephant garlic which it all seems to be kind of coming through so i'm really this will be the first year i've grew that in what i can say is anger do you know what i mean i've had one bulb and i've put it in but it's never really come to anything they need a little bit of weeding but all me i've got some red white which was planted on the 6th of october and sorry early white and i've got 6th of october and i think those ones yes were planted purple early white were planted in november but there's still time there now to plant away and get them in now if you're into as well celeriac and this is another veg that can just come come on was it one two years come on my horizon and i struggled with it last year growing it and i had actually it was viewers that sent us over celeriac the first year i think i bought it from a supermarket and i got a great crop from it not a supermarket a garden center but this year i've already sown mine and they're just coming up there now so again get them in get them sown read the instructions i know they're a long it takes a while for germinate they're a, they're a fickle thing don't get us wrong but if you can get a germination away you'll have them and the, the one of these veg there you think you wouldn't like the taste you might not like the taste but i certainly discovered them and it's it's a cross between like i see a celery and a turnip with a bit of aniseed mixed in and when you describe it like that you think the hell is that gonna taste like but it's not it's like it's a it's a mild flavor and it's a lovely flavor to kind of say mix in with potato or mash or with turnip or to have it on its own do you know what i mean we kind of discovered it and love it so there is like a, a big list that you can just go online and kind of search for but like I mentioned, all the kind of the brassicas, you know, even like, say, kohlrabi. I've got mine away there now. Kohlrabi, kale, cabbage, spring cabbage, you know, there's all them kind of things. Just now, it's all starting to kind of kick off where it's, 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 it's like the nice feeling like, all right, we're not that far away from the kind of the, the, the summer, you know, and, and once the kind of the abundance comes, it's great. I mean, we are in this kind of hungry gap at the moment, but also and i mean i did it a little bit earlier now but i'm gonna do it now but we need to go back to the hut because tomatoes and i'll tell you what there is a competition coming which you're gonna love right then we're back in the, the hub of the tony c smith <laughs> year for gardening here this is the kind of pot and shed this is the the potty mouth garden center in here so just put that there like i say it's all starting to happen there now and the competition look what i've got now as i mentioned there's the competition for these seed trays there's a link there how oh, this seed now i've i've yarped on about this seed box this this type of seed box for so long there now and quite a few people went out on my link and bought it and they just work so well now this is my second one and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give this seed box away as a competition and you know what else i'm gonna do my god yes i'm gonna <laughs> where's where's me pen there i'm gonna i'm gonna sign it yes so this seed box is honestly just fantastic now i'm guessing 
it can this competition can only be for the UK because I trust us it'll cost a if you're prepared to pay the postage for for this for America I just see I'm guessing America that would probably cost about sixty dollars to post over even more but this is the Tony C Smith signed <laughs> box there if you want this seed box i will tell you how to win it at the end of the show so tomatoes now something's happening with the tomatoes as you know i'm going for brad's atomic grape tomato for my tomatoes there's another thing here there's lots of things well, there's gonna be three things the main things on this kind of seed thing so my whole tomato year right as was going to be grafted tomatoes then the bellarico grafted tomatoes but brought you know bought in but someone's got in touch with us jonathan has gotten in touch with us and what's going to happen this year is jonathan hopefully through a series of photographs and things is going to do the grafting himself and then send over the plants so no pressure jonathan but that's how we're gonna and it's gonna be a beef tomato it's not gonna be a bellarigo tomato it's gonna be a beef tomato but jonathan's gonna graft them for us do the graft and send them over and then we're gonna grow them on to see if if <laughs> no pressure jonathan but the brad's atomic grape ones now they're gonna be my favorite one i discovered them last year what a flavor man what a flavor and just a quirky looking tomato you can't get them in the kind of shops and anything like that what i'm gonna do with my funky seed trays is i'm gonna plant so about a, i'm not sure how many seeds i've got i've got about a hundred seeds roughly i'm gonna plant them up there now and then sell them off as plug plants if anybody wants them plug plants there's a link below there'll be three links seed tree competition ones if you want to win them and the brad's atomic grape seeds if you want to be notified just notified if you're interested then i can drop you an email then the competition this is a lot going on to to win this seed box again there'll be a separate link below as well if you want to be in a chance to win this seed box link below if you want to be notified of the brad's atomic grapes link below and if you want a chance this these seed trays mind you link below competition is ending pretty soon so everybody i've got my fingers stuck everybody that's in for that you'll be notified quickly so that's what's happening in in kind of this little world there it's we're starting now to ramp up the seeds like you say brassic is any there's quite a lot you can put up i'll put a list of the things you can kind of what i'm thinking about planting what i've got planted but there'll be three links seed box competition for the seed trays and if you want to be notified of brad's atomic grape plug plants look after yourselves take good care